Hello, my name is Randall Lee Hart. I'm the construction accountant here at Business Consultant Accounting. We're QuickBooks experts in construction accounting. And today we're going to discuss how 10 minutes a day can kill your construction company profits. I want you to know that helping you to achieve your definition of success is our pride and joy. Chaos costs money. Good bookkeeping can eliminate chaos. One of the first places we see profit drain number one is an in-house bookkeeper. Now, I like in-house bookkeepers. They can be great. They're very useful in a lot of companies. Unfortunately, construction, they're not that great because construction accounting is a very small piece of overall accounting. It's a lot different than regular accounting because it involves a whole lot of cost goods sold and work in process that normal accounting does not. So let's say that you have a construction company annual sales under $5 million. You cannot afford a qualified construction bookkeeper or construction accountant. If you do hire a cheap bookkeeper, we'll say $15 an hour for 10 hours a week. You need to know the true cost to have them on your payroll, including overhead, is closer to $20.20 an hour. So if we take that and look at it a little differently, if that person wastes 10 minutes a day, of unproductive office labor by arriving late to work, leaving work early, bookkeeping errors, bookkeeping and read work, on the job training, they take excess coffee breaks, personal web surfing, personal emails, personal chats, personal phone calls, all of that could cost your company about $273.93 a year. If you're making a 10% profit, you need to sell and produce another $2,730.30 more in sales every year to maintain your profit margin and just to pay for those 10 minutes a day that they're wasting. Profit number two is cheap tools and equipment. So let's say for example you have a construction worker and you're paying that person $25 an hour. With all the indirect cost, burden, and overhead they're actually costing you $35.64 so let's say that that person has some tools and equipment that aren't that great and then they arrive late, they leave early, they have construction errors, construction and way work, on job training, excess coffee breaks, personal phone calls, cheap tools and equipment. Every 10 minutes a day of chaos is costing your company $1,540.42 a year for an employee cost that kind of money. At a 10% profit, if you're kind of making a 10% profit, you need to sell another $15,544.20 to maintain your profit margin. <coughs> Cheap tools and equipment are a bit of a problem too. So I'm using an example here that your best construction worker asks for a tool. That tool costs $1,200. It will save 10 minutes a day in labor. It'll last three years. The standard response for the company is, we can't afford that. Here's a, a, a clue. Highly profitable construction companies ask their construction accountant, that's us, to calculate the projected return on investment, ROI, and then they consult your CG business plan to make an informed decision. Numbers, numbers. Early to bed, early to rise, know your numbers, and advertise. So in this example, it might make sense even to finance that purchase, even if it means using a credit card at 12% interest, because the net return is over $3,000. The annual savings, 1544.42. Take away the investment of $1,200, plus a credit card is going to cost you $1,300. The profit, the additional profit in year one is $200. Year two is 1544. Year three is 1544. Your total is $3,288.36. You made a return on investment of 245%. I don't know where you're going to be able to put money in someplace and get a 245% return on your investment. These are just two quick examples of how good bookkeeping can save your, your company a lot of money and it can help you make a lot of money. So. If we can be of any help whatsoever, please contact us, 206-361-3950. Again, my name is Randall Lee Hart, construction accountant at
Business Consulting and Accounting. We also have a website called fasteasyaccounting.com. Thank you very much. Bye for now.